Hi folks, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on how to generate a location via a Google Maps uh, page. So, so with Google Maps open, all you need to do is search for the location. I'll just quick, we'll search for. As you can see, I've already searched for it, so it comes up. Okay, and it's got the, the dropped pin. Um, I right mouse click on that. This is the instructions for using a computer, so I should have mentioned that. And you go, what's here? And then the coordinates are displayed down the bottom here. So click on them. And now's the, the coordinates are displayed in a larger screen that you can copy. The ones you want are the decimal, the decimal notation, not the longitude and latitude, but it is long and late, but it's in decimal format. So make sure you get the minus, copy, and so now we go to the back end of the Murray Valley Bushwalkers website, components, RS events, pro and locations, and Oddie's uh, sort of rep represented there, but let's make a new one for it. So So to make a new location, we go to New, and remember we've got the coordinates in memory, so we'll just paste in there the decimal format. We can put the name in, Odys Park, and Google should look for it, Google Maps. So Google Maps finds it, because we've given them the exact coordinates, the location appears over here on, on the Google map. We can put a URL, in other words, an internet address in, in there, which people can click on as well. So let's just do that. So here's a Google map with uh, Otis Creek Park. I'll copy the huge URL and drop it back into location sorry the URL area paste it in and now we can simply save and close we've got a new location called Oddis Park so let's now go to RS Events Pro and find the event that needs the location added here it is already Oddy Creek to and from and around the Horseshoe Lagoon and in the location area down here we can now just type Oddy and RS Events Pro goes and looks for the location, scroll, scrolls through them finds, searches through them and finds Oddy's Park and all we need to do now is save and close and check the front end to see whether the map is now showing up. So here's the event in the front end. I'll open it up. There's the location. Let's click on it and see what happens. And sure enough we've got the Google map showing and we can get directions if needed. And we can also follow this link, which is the one we copied and pasted. That takes us directly to Google Maps. Okay, I hope that was of some use to you, and uh, it's always been the hardest aspect of um, managing events is getting the locations right, I reckon. But remember that it's the coordinates that you're after, and you can get them from Google Maps uh, the way I showed. Having the URL only won't, uh, won't make a map appear in your event. You need the coordinates. Okay, thanks for watching.